Microsoft Excel is full of logic-based conditional functions. We've taken a look at a few of them so far during this course. The next one that we're going to take a look at is the COUNTIF function. Now, inside of Excel, we have a standard count function. And the standard count function will go through and count a range of cells that contain numeric data. We've also got a count blanks function built into Excel, which will count blank cells from a range of cells. Now, the one that we're going to take a look at here will count a range of cells based on a condition that we specify. We're essentially going to take a standard count function and combine it with an if. I want to count if something is true. Now, open in front of you once again, I've got our example file. I'm still on the if function worksheet. And I've got a cell here. This is cell F14, where I'd like to count the current number of salespeople who have reached their goal. What's the goal? Well, we decided that earlier, right? Was the goal met? We've got some yeses and nos, and I just want to count the yeses. That's it. Think about this. Anytime that you need to go through a list of records inside of Excel, and I want to know how many records matched this criteria. You've probably done this manually, record by record by record. Oh, there's one, one, there's another, there's two, there's three, there's four. Oh, no, that's not one. There's back to three. This is a very manual process. Now, let's take a look at the count if function and how we can streamline our efforts in counting records based on a condition. Take a look. So I'm inside of F14. I'm going to go back to my formulas tab, back into logical, and let's see. Ooh, you know, I got my logical kind of text or, or, or uh, conditional based functions inside of here, but I don't see my count if. Hmm. Let's see where we can find this one at. I'm going to hop into my insert function window. This will open up my insert function window. And in here I can do a quick little search. I can go into a little drop down and pick from categories. Very similar to what I found on my formulas bar. Now, my first thought is it should be under logical because it's an if. But I scroll through there and once again I, I don't see it. So I'm just going to do a quick little search here. We'll say count if. Then I'll hit the go button. It'll go through and find all, everything related to this term that I searched on. There's count A and count, and there's if, and there's count if. So with that one selected, I'll hit OK. Then this will open up my function arguments window for the count if function. So it wants to know two things. It wants to know the range of cells that I'd like to count, and it wants to know the criteria. Very simple. So first, the range. I'm going to go grab this range of cells here, H5 to H9. That's where I want to count whether or not they met their goal. And the criteria that I'm searching for, I want to count all of the yeses. So in quotes here, I'm going to type in yes. And that's it. I'll hit OK. And probably no big surprise here, but there's a three. I'm counting a very specific value from this group of cells. In this case, counting the yeses. Try this out. Really simple. Count if. Specify the range of cells that you want to count within and the criteria, what is it that you're counting within that range of cells?